I believe students at CAPS have opportunities that a lot of kids at other middle schools don't currently have. Each day is a different day, and you're going to see different things depending on the day that you're here at CAPS Middle School. The old CAPS was a school that was built in the 1930s, and virtually every decade that building had been added onto. It was very disjointed and not functional. There really was no opportunity for teachers to even have collaboration. So there was a real need for there to be a new school. It was important to empower the student voice. We know that students are going to live in this facility and we wanted them to be involved in the planning. The process started with involving students and teachers and educators in order to design what an ideal school would look like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and 50 years from now. The process also supported our teachers' growth by allowing them to really experiment in different types of learning. And so we looked at inquiry-based learning, and there was a workshop specific to that to allow our teachers and ourselves to really understand what inquiry-based learning was and how it impacts student learning. Anytime we're implementing a change in any procedures, any processes, we ask what's best for students. What we've found is that often when asking what's best for students, it typically results with what's best for teachers as well. This process really made me step outside of my comfort zone. I feel like it's made me a better teacher by empowering me. Kepps Middle School has become a destination place for our other schools in Putnam City. It's really a field trip because of the creek and everything that they can explore. We're able to do a lot of things at Caps Middle School that I was not able to do at my old school. For example, the creek is used in learning in a variety of ways. We like to kick it off by the kids exploring. They're cataloging different organisms. We also do some pH water testing. So towards the end of the school year, we really get into environmental quality, human impact, things like that. We used to just go outside for our recess after lunch and we'd stay inside the rest of the day. But here in English class, we go outside sometimes just to read. We refer to our grade levels as neighborhoods. Students see each other often, they work together, they feel valued because they're part of a neighborhood. When I walk through the neighborhoods, I see classes doing silent work by themselves. I see classes combining and doing work with other classes. I see classes doing group projects. You see more people smiling because they have this opportunity, they have these different spaces, and they're just, they're excited to go to class. I'm most proud to see an idea that started on paper, focused on students, and to be able to see that actually in place. To see that all the time, the conversations, the purposefulness of the process, that students are really learning and growing. I'm most proud of this facility because of it bringing everybody together. Every student deserves to go to a facility like Caps Middle School.